Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this brand new projector. It is done by a company called VanQ and it is modeled V600. I know that there's a lot of other people that already reviewed this. All right, so we will go through and show you step by step what we have accomplished and what we really liked about this project itself before we brought it out to you guys. You can see that the box itself is just total black. It just have their markings in the front and doesn't have much markings around, but it is a very big box. And once we open it and we take everything out, there is a black box and then there is a traveling bag that is inside of it. We don't want to forget. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button plus click the notification icon. This way you're going to be notified once we have a brand new video out. Make sure you share this with your friends and family. Make sure and also thumbs up. This way it motivates us to make these type of videos quickly. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. All right, so let's go back into the video itself. You can see that the traveling back looks very nice, but we're going to put that aside. First, we're going to open up the black box. The black box itself have a few components inside of it, such as a quick start guide. It will give a lot of information on how you can connect it and how you're going to be able to use this. Plus, it has a very detailed user manual and it is in a couple of languages. We're going to put that aside. It also comes with a HDMI cable, which is 2.0. Plus, it comes with a regular connection for 110 AC and that is created for Canada and United States with a little adapter for your RCA connections. And the other side is regular 3.5 jack. And we will show you once we look on the project itself where you go to hook that up. It also comes with IR remote that have all the functions that you really need from a remote. All right, so we're going to put everything aside. You can also see that the traveling bag is has a lot of little package. So that way you can put all the power, everything inside of it. If you want to take this from one place to another. And once we unzip it, you can see that the projector itself is sitting inside of another little sleeve and we're going to take that out too. And here is the projector. It is beautiful the way that it is created the way that is designed it has a really nice aluminum brush right on the top it is plastic by the way but going around it it has a lot of connections from the front you can see that the lens is sitting on one side it does have a cap so when you're not going to use it put that cap on and it's not going to collect dust in the front on the right side of it you have a little place for your IR sensor going on the right side of it you have a lot of holes for ventilation and right hand side of it you're going to see the full SD card slot which can only read up to 32 gigabyte right beside that you have a AV connection and that's where you're going to be able to connect your RCA connection and also right beside that you have a headphone jack this is where you're going to be able to connect your headset or speakers now go into the back part of it from the top you have a VGA connection to so this way you're going to be able to connect your older type of laptops right beside that you have an IR indicator so this way if you are connecting it to the ceiling or you're standing behind it your remote will still work for you right beside that you have two USB connections the top one is thumb drive or you have a hard drive and you want to play your videos from that that is very easy to process right underneath of it is also they have a charging connection for USB and this way you're going to be able to connect your phones or tablets if you want to charge it while this is connected right beside that you have HDMI 2.0 connection and there is two of them right underneath of it you will be able to see that there is a little cuts for the speaker and then right beside that you have the power connection so you can see that it is really nice aluminum cut to it and on that side of it it does have their logo really nicely it says van q and then going to the right top side is you're going to be able to see your focus and your keystone correction and this is where you will be able to focus it properly on the screen and also your keystone I would really suggest for you to level this in a high level and also at a straight. That way your corners are not going to be out of focus. Except that going down you have all the navigation keys there. You have exactly the same ones on your remote. The best part is that on your remote you have to press it twice in order to turn it off. But on the project itself, once you press it one time it shuts off which is really good. Going in the bottom it has a little part in the bottom for ventilation and also for the speaker so it can give you a little boom noise or should I say the bass. Except that you have some holes so this way you can connect this on the ceiling and if you have a different type of tripod you want to connect this on top of that this will 
will really help you out except that there is a little part in the front so you can open and that way it will be able to angle it if you want to put this on a table and you're going to be able to watch your movies not that far but I would suggest you put it up a meter and a half away in order for you to have a proper picture on the screen so once you connect the power itself and also your HDMI and you want to turn it on you just have to press the power and here you go now you can see that the screen looks really nice and clean so you can see that it looks a lot better than the other projectors the quality on this is in a different level again you can see that the colors are more vibrant than the other projectors and also the lens is a little bit bigger than the other projectors if you have noticed it plus they have really paid attention on the speaker part so that way your sound is more than the noise that it makes so we will show that in a little bit but let's go through the sound meter once it's no noise to it or no sound to it this is the numbers that we got and once we turned on the sound and we put it to almost 90 percent this is the sound that we got out of the speaker from the project itself now you can see how smooth it shows on the screen when we played this on the regular natural light it's still viewable but remember that the darks are not going to be very dark another good thing i want to mention is that they have also sent us a projection screen it is really nice and stretchy the screen that you're seeing right now is 120 inches but once you go over to maximum 300 inches it looks beautiful but you need to have a darker room if you want to play this outside it would work beautiful for you and it doesn't matter how big you want to make it as maximum 300 inches when you try to zoom in to the video quality itself you can see that there's no pixels they mashed it out and once you go back just like right now showing it looks beautiful and very very sharp in order to see the picture accurately I want to mention that this is a 1080p native resolution and also when it outbursts it and showing it on the screen it is a 1080p but the lumens on this is 5000 they don't call it lumens anymore they call it lux so it is 5000 lux superior experience when you're looking on the screen itself the contrast ratio on this is 5000 to 1 according to what they write down and also we're going to show you the aspect ratios once we go inside and show you more about what type of quality you will get and how it will look so there are some different type of settings in this brand new projector i know that some of these parts you can see on the top are a little bit broken that's because of the android box we're using today but that's not what this part of the video is about you can see that i am holding the remote and i will be going through some menus so when you press this is the first menu that you will see it talks about the picture and temperature so we will get this in a few seconds because there are different settings that you can go through and i had to change mine in order to get a really good color out of it now we'll show you the different and the temperature and colors in a few seconds and this is the temperature part i know that i put it on medium and we can change it right now to user or we can put it on cool this way it looks a little bit brighter you can see that as soon as i change it the color will be changing little by little this is why we wanted to make this true life all right so we will go back into main menu and there is the aspect ratio so this is also where you can zoom in or zoom out and automatically it will give you different type of settings right now we're four by three so if your videos are four by three and a stretch this is how you're going to fix it into making it properly broadcast it on your screen and that's not the only thing we also have auto this is another really cool thing we always leave it on this but the one i'm going to use is going to be 16 by 9 this is the main one that everybody uses another thing is it says zoom in and you can see that the top just totally disappeared and now we have a zoom in there's also zoom too and this one also going to give you more zoom in so if if you are going to watch some videos that have black lines on the top and the bottom this is another way that you can zoom in except using some apps like Kodi. and there you go another one is called just scan this is another really good one but the one that i really want to use is either 16 by 9 which is this one 
are going to be auto. So we will leave it on 16 by 9 for now and we will go back. So another one is called noise reduction. How much little grain or snow you're going to see on the screen. So you can totally turn it off and this will make it really good or you can put it on high. You know, you can just use default. The one that is by default setup is going to be middle. So I will leave that there and we will go back into a different part, which is projection direction. It right now is front. So if you want to put your projector upside down, like on selecting it or going to be connecting it on the ceiling, you can go into be able to put it backward, which is going to be projected from back of the screen. Or you can go to front or it says front ceiling. You can see that it says on ceiling, but it's upside down right now. Or it's going to be rear projection from the back and it's going to be projected on the screen. So this way, some people do like to do it this way. But the one that right now I am going to use is going to be front. So there you go. And that's not the only thing. Another one that I really like is the size. This is very, very mandatory these days so if you have a screen and when you project and no matter what your sides will be out and even if you take it a little bit back and forth one side is going to be out and the other side is not this is really cool way to zoom in and zoom out just like those big guys with a four thousand dollar projectors that can do this here you go you can do it with your budget projector so you can go back and you can reduce the size this thing does not go less than 75 percent there you go but you can see that how small it got and now your menu is over your screen itself so this is how easy it is to select and play with the projection screen and now it's going to be projected perfectly as a hundred percent and now you can use it a lot better so that's not the only thing the next part is sound remember that these projectors do have really cool boom box stereo speakers inside of it so i know that you can probably hear the projector right now in a background running with really loud noises those are just to keep the projector itself cool but it gives you a lot of information that it will tell you so there you go you can balance it from right to left this will really do the job and also audio volume is off right now so this way if there is a really scary sound that will come up and everything goes dim with the sound and then you hear a boom this if you leave it off i am just not going to scare you so another good part is that it has a little audio jack that i'm showing you right now on the screen you can use that to hook up a external speakers to it and if you have a bass with it this will do the job beautifully for you and i'm sure you're going to love that so here you go another part is you can change the language to different languages and we're not going to touch that so we will go back the next part is if you want to factory reset also blending is there OSD duration is there and also software update yes guys they do always get software update in order to be really really familiarized on how you can find it you can see it right now in the bottom right here you can see with my finger I'm showing you it shows the proper number for you so that way you know exactly what software you have and if there is a new one you want to install it on your USB make sure it's fully downloaded and then make sure that you're going to transfer it on your USB easily you can update it now we have to go through and dig out some videos to that way we're going to be able to show you what type of quality you're going to get once you connect your AV connection which is going to be our VCR so we found a really cool video that they just brought out and I'm really fan of Rambo series so I know that the last blood just came out and I went to the theater and I watched it I really liked it by the way so I digged out this video Rambo 3 yes we couldn't find Rambo 2 which was the first blood but I found Rambo 3 which is really equivalent to it so again you can see that it really nicely uh, packaged again I kept it for a very very long time this was maybe our 10th or 11th VHS I ever purchased when I was really young so you can see that that I bought it from a store and it was used so I kept it really good till now and here you go this is how it really looks and yes because the video is 4x3, I had to go into the settings and change the settings to 4x3 in order for you to see it properly. And here you go. It looks really nice. It's very vibrant. I know that it has a lot of snow to it because of the age of the VHS itself. But because this is really cool video, I kept it. And here you go. This is how beautiful it will look once you have it properly set up. And the sound is not connected to any external speaker it is from the actual speaker and the projector itself
So here are the two videos that I'm going to show you that we are getting from YouTube and the name will be showing in the bottom part. But I want to mention that the sound part of it is coming directly from the projector itself. So we, we did not add any type of speakers to this so that way it would sound a lot better. But here we go. So this was our take on VanQ V600 which came out not that long ago from VanQ. I know there is a lot of these videos out there on the YouTube but I just wanted to do a little different way of reviewing about this projector itself since I really fell in love with how good the colors look and also how it really brings out everything on the screen and also sound. So I want to mention again, all the links will be available where you can order it from. And also, if you need more questions, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out. So I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment in the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xetext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.